Carl dry run. After you eat some nice food and drink some good juice. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Mm -hmm. So, how oh, rude. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, as you see by the title, this is a get ready with me kind of vibe, chit chat, and stuff. I'm not really talkative, but I'm going to try and see what make you can talk about. I just, I wanted to talk about you know me growing up and all of that. Or maybe not. So I'm just gonna start talking. Whatever comes to mind comes to mind. Uh, before we get into this video, guys, please remember to like this video, um, share if you like, make a comment, subscribe, and click on the link for post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I post future content over here, girl. Like, if you are a returning and you haven't subscribed, like, me no way I wait fine and just do it. So. I'm going to get ready because my ride is coming and I don't want to be light. I'm going to like people with me, so yeah. Bye. Okay guys, so I definitely put on a wrong shade foundation. I didn't like how that shade look. I just went ahead and did my brows off camera. You know. So let's start over. This one looks better. Alright, so what I wanted to talk about is me as a child, you know, growing up. And first of all, let me say that I feel like I wasted my teens and also maybe i didn't but this is just what i think right and i wasted my 20s because i've never like worked a day in my life never worked a day in my life so you must be wondering how she survived like never work yet that's not really practical and that wasn't like what I wanted for me. But this is the reason why I feel like I ended up like this. Yeah, when I was growing up, modeling was my thing. Like, that, that's what I loved. I loved um, modeling and also, I also wanted to be like, if... I didn't make it in the modeling industry I would then shift to being a flight attendant I just love those two um, career path so when I left school I left school with eight no five sorry <laughs> I meant that I did eight subjects, eight subjects, but I only passed five, right? Including English language, I failed maths from high school. Wasn't a math girl, so I did eight and I passed five. Not bad, if you ask me. But anyway, regardless of that, I just wanted to do modeling, yeah? So after I graduated, I, you know, start searching for model agencies and I came across Pulse. And my go one mama tell daddy say, one thing with my father, he's very supportive. Very, very supportive of his um, kids. 
I remember I told him that, you know, I wanted to try try out modeling and people used to tell me to say, you know, I'm going to try it out and things. So, and I loved it. So, when I left high school, honestly, I wasn't focusing on to like go six farm or... Sorry, I wasn't focusing on to go Ga six farm, upper six or whatever you want to call it. Nor college, like me no know. Me just well one done with school and go model. That, that, that's all it in my head. Yeah. But anyway, I left school, went to modeling, up and down a poles every day. Yeah. Years pass. Me still a run down modeling. When me left, when me left Pulse, me go and do pageants. I entered Miss Universe Jamaica. I entered the preliminary pageant for Miss Universe Jamaica, and I did. I would say I did good because I was like second runner up. But the downside of that, it, that was good, I mean, out of a lot of girls. But the downside of it, I would still have to go to the Miss Universe Jamaica and I still had to go to that um, casting. But when you enter the preliminary, the preliminary pageants, if you ended up being first runner up or second runner up you automatically gain your spot in the actual big miss jamaica pageant and i was like second runner up like i said i'm gonna see if i can find some of those pictures and you know show them and thing but i was so proud of myself i'm still need one done the suckers may i say I go get a tone at a casting day and you know try out my thing and do my thing the same way anyway I long story short I just did a run up and down in the modeling industry from fashion model to being to doing pageants and all of that so that was that and I felt like I waste a lot of time on that. And no, when me I say, no man, time I run out upon me, me need something for do, yeah? Uh, me I do, from me left school, I run up and down in this modeling industry. You know? So I said to myself, okay, let me start doing something else. And my second, um, the second thing, like I said, I liked otherwise from the modeling was flight attendant so I applied to this school in university uh, they focused on like hospitality flight attendant and all of that stuff so that's what I I started the school was going to the school and then me get tired of it. Stop guard of school. I the reason why I did stop guard of school. It was just a lot of question about the school. And one thing them did tell we is them tell we say them tell we say we are going um automatically do internship. Like say you choose um Say so you, your major in flight attendant. Them say we'd automatically gain a spot to do like internship, right? So you know say when you hear about that, you know, it sounds promising and exciting and you know, say, well, it's a sure thing, say you yeah, go do an internship whether at the airport or 
you know, something regarding your, the field that you're in. And they, they, oh, that's too much. Who doesn't like internship? Because enough time when you do internship, them end up take your same way for your work with them, right? So, when the time for we, we, we did do the inter internship, I be a things, be a things, them I tell you. Be a things, them I tell you. So, me I say, all that school here moves so, so it just, we did just lose like, interest i was so exhausted i was i may just lose interest and then me i find this bag of money and then make you tell you then tell you up front say yeah it's a sure thing that they are going to find jobs give you when you're done and that was a lie so me just stop go to the college me stop go to college yeah and then by that, my all and tough. All and tough and in, you know in the middle of nowhere. Don't know what to do next. So the next thing I say, you know what? Me I go look at see if me can you know join the police force. And that did work out for me, but because I got married and Filing a guan and thing. They them call me for the police thing and all of that. Call me feet. Them call me for it. But um, I did, I did um, all the steps. No, first. First, I went ahead and I did never really planned to put on an eyeshadow, but just a little bit. Guys, you know that I'm gonna go out? Jesus Christ, I want my shoes and I left me a rubber guys. You know what I say? When you have this something them all, when they're brand new. And you know, you, you never wear it, you know, wear it and you have it long time. Put on, you know, go nowhere. We dry right now, pan you. That happened, that happened to me already. Yeah, it happened to me already. What may I miss now? My lash. Lash and highlighter. Mm -mm, let me never take off the glue off of them lashes. Yeah. No, sir. So, guys, I'm putting on my lash. He's not a lash expert. <laughs> I ain't the lash expert.
Alright guys, so I feel like the lash kind of lean, but I'm not take it off back. Same so I feel like that one here lean. What do you think? Lean, yes. Hmm? It already so up go up too much. Why oh, yes, sir? Yeah, go up. Go up too much? Yes, yeah. so go up. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so I'm all done. Let me do my edges. I've come and do my edge. I love story too much. After I do my edge guys. May I go put on my clothes? I never really want to let down my ear yet because of something I have to pull over my head. But we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, so I'm going to pull down the curls. Or the pinups, we want to call it.
yeah so that's basically it for the vlog and a little you know get ready with me kind of vibe i hope you guys enjoyed it and as you can see we had a lot of fun eat some good food drink some drink drink some good juice <laughs> mine anyway guys thank you so much for watching bye